What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we are on New Woodshire and we've got something brand new for you. We spent a little bit of money. Oh yeah, we got something down here. We got the Case Magnum with a big old engine in it. That's right. And we got a horse. Oh, we got a new horse and it's got duels on it. Oh my goodness. What we've got to do is we've got to pass off this bumper in the front because we're going to move this one over to the Magnum. Now, we also have a new truck up there. We've actually just bought another truck. We've got two of them now. And we've got a seed tender because we're going to use it on the horse. We've got a couple pieces of, his quote, pieces of equipment as well. We're going to have a good time. Let's repair this. Boom. And let's sell it. 173 grand. Not great not terrible either what we got is we've got some work to do this has a job what we've got to do let's go ahead and hook that up oh yeah now that's what we're talking about right there so we got narrow duels all around and we've got narrow duels on the horse in the back gotta take this back because what we're gonna do is get this guy on our main field up there what we need is we need some straw. I noticed that we're running a bit lower than I would like to run on straw. So we're going to do some loose straw and then we're going to sell some bales of straw. But before we can do that, we've got to get stuff in the ground. So I've kind of gone back and forth about what should we get? Should we do wheat, barley, oats? What do we do? I have decided on wheat. So we are going to do wheat. So we've got this. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at this thing. Let's go ahead and cut across the field a little bit. Boom, baby. Let's go get the truck as well. So we can get some seed and fertilizer put in here. Not only this piece of equipment right here, but we also need to get a hold of our John Deere. So we got our big John Deere right over here. And we are going to put our Amazon on the back of this. Now, yes, the Amazon is a bit bigger, but nonetheless, it's still fine. Works just good. So what we're going to do is take this get everybody seeded and fertilized up and figure out where I put my cedar. Uh, there's our truck. Also, we need a covered shed right here for our trailers. I don't like the way things are going. Also, the manure. We're getting a lot of manure right now and manure is selling for pretty good at the biogas. Now, we did sell the biogas, so prices will be reset once we buy it again, but kind of what I want to do is jump in there and well, get rid of the manure. We don't use manure or slurry. You guys know the last episode we sold all of our slurry. So what we're going to do this time around is we're going to sell the manure. So let's open this up and get it put right there. Let's go get the truck and let's also get the little seed tender. Now with this guy, we are going to go permanent install on here. So we're going to move this over and now we're just going to bump in and find that little dolly and sell it. It's around here somewhere, I know. Yeah, there it is. 900 bucks. Got rid of it. And now we have a permanent settlement on the back. Oh, yeah. I do love these trucks right here. So we got two of them now. We've got one on the small farm. And now we're going to take this one and put it on the main farm. Now, of course, we can move this over to another semi if we would like. But I don't really see reason to do that. I am extremely happy with what we've got right here again. This is going to be our little our little field truck. It's going to take everything we need to. We've still got a trailer hitch on the back too. So let's take this. I've had trouble in the past getting this to fill up the way I want it to. So we're going to see if we can't get it to do the way we want to do. Let's see. Something is up. There we go. Okay. I didn't know what in the world was going on. Fertilizer. Let's see. Let's just put in seeds first. Pretty sure seeds are supposed to go on the other side. Let's turn that help window on and see exactly what's going on here. Uh, pipe out seeds. Okay, so it knows seeds are in there. That's good. And let's get about right here. Hopefully this will say fertilizer. Nope. Saying seed all over again. So somehow we've got to get fertilizer in here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to place down a few things. So let's take seeds... Seeds that are in there, so let's go fertilizer. 
So we could get these guys right here. We've got $1,000 for those or $8,500 for these. Now, we've still got a lot of money, but I don't... You know what? I'm thinking we just place these guys down. This works totally fine. So let's take uh, take this. I believe this is the front side. Let's just put this about right, right there. And now that we've got that placed, we can turn around here. And hopefully this will load in the sides. We did get Q. There we go. And it's loading. Oh my gosh, that's slow. Oh. That's annoying. That's about as annoying as it gets right there. Come on, really? Man, that's slow. All right. Well, uh, let's make some magic happen and it'll go poof and we'll be full. And oh, wait, what is that? Yeah, we put a couple down. I'm not dealing with that again. Bring this around. So what we're going to do is we're going to boom this down. And this is going to put everything in for us. So check this out. Let's pull up the help window. We're booming out. And right now we are on seeds. And I don't know if this is going to be the front or the back. I believe seeds are the back. Okay. I believe seeds are in the front. <laughs> there we go. Everything is good here. So this is really cool. And it unloads so decently quick. What it's going to do is it holds exactly the amount that we need. 5,000 seeds, 5,000 fertilizer. It's almost like it's almost like this little tender right here was made for this right here. So there go the seeds. Now we're going to figure out the fertilizer. And there we go. We have the fertilizer going. Let's get this guy in the field. I almost forgot. We got to fill this thing back up because we got to get the Amazon full as well. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to roll up and fill up with seeds and fertilizer. First up, fertilizer. See, that's what I thought. I thought fertilizer was supposed to go on the left side. So you see there's a little bit of fertilizer on the right side there too. That's probably going to be fine. Let's pull right up here to the seeds. Yeah, just kind of ignored that there was actually seeds there. So you could do a lot more things with this guy than you thought. You can also do like wheat, barley, canola, oats, sunflower, soybeans, corn, stuff like that. Maybe not all of those. But you could do quite a few of those things, which is really, really cool, really neat. So if you want to move, you know, for some reason, you know, use this for your chickens. You absolutely can. There is no reason that you can't do that. So do keep that in mind. If you want to use this for certain things, you can. Now, what is first? Something's got to work here. Okay, so fertilizer is going in. Should be about full. We don't have a huge capacity for this guy. Yep, there's that. And now we've switched over to seeds. And seeds are pouring in. Let's jump into John Deere right here and see. Ah, yeah. No, yeah, we're definitely going to fill this guy up. So, that's full. We are good. We've got some extra in here, which is nice. we got got 2,500 liters of seed, and we've got about 3,200 liters of fertilizer. So, we've got some spares for later. Now, what we need to do is we need to put everything up and get it ready to go. So, put this about right there. I would say that's a good spot for it. Eh, you know what? Let's stick the John Deere out there first. What the John Deere is going to do for us is the John Deere is going to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth over and over and over again. Let's get this set over to wheat. Perfect. Now, I'm going to set this on a worker up here. And we're going to let it go down and back, down and back, up and down. And then we are going to run our headlands with the new horse, which is sweet. It's good, too, because the horse it takes a little bit less horsepower, I would say, than this does. But they still both take quite a bit of horsepower. I know it may say, oh, you only need, you know, so-and-so or this much horsepower. Don't, don't, be, don't be afraid to stick something big on these guys. There we go. That is good. And we are ready to hit some headlands.
Now that we've got the speedy out of the way and we've got the headlands done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap them up. Because I am doing uh, fast farming, because I'm doing all of this kind of pretty quickly, uh, if you guys don't know how to fast farm, check out Killer Weasel. He is linked down in the description below. Good guy, good friend of the channel. Um, he is a Goham fam right there. He is the man. Check him out. So what we've done, again, was we've swapped this out so I can fast farm and knock out these little funky ends down here. I am thinking about swapping these out for some smaller fields. So taking like the, the main farm and the main field and kind of drawing a line below the farm, kind of where you see field 20 and 11. Uh, maybe turning those back into fields. They wouldn't be completely squared off, but they, they would at least be a little bit more manageable. I think uh, that is the game plan anyway. Now we're going to do that after this harvest, of course. Uh, again, the reason we're doing this is to get a little bit of straw. We've got some. And we don't need all the straw that we would get off of this field. But again, like I said, we need some of it. So we'll bail some that we don't need, and then we'll go loose the rest of it, and we'll pick up all that loose stuff. So let's finish this field up. It really won't take us that much longer to do. This field's going to be pretty quick, especially with the horse running up there. We've got the John Deere running right here. We're running 15 meters on this one, maybe 15, 15.2, something like that. I mean, it's... Easy, but we're running a good size. That's exactly what we're doing. Another thing that we need to do is the shed that is behind, uh, or the shed that we park our combines in. I've got a little funky little end right there, and I accidentally hit it when we were plowing one day. And I was like, well, you know, I've got the, I've got the field right there. I may as well just leave it. Well, I'm tired of it being there. <laughs> I tell you what, as soon as we get up here to it, I am going to chop it up. That's right, I'm going to chop it up. Let's get this area right here. Boom. There we go. Again, fast farming. It allows you to go as fast as your tractor will go, which I love. This is the area right here that I'm talking about. And let me show you how I'm going to do this. Because if you go through and you flatten, what it's going to do is it's going to recognize the ground that used to be there. And I kind of want this little pathway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up sculpting and I'm going to hit Y on the D on the d-pad what that's going to do is it's going to smooth this out and return the ground texture to what it used to be you guys kind of see that a little bit there we go so we got that and bring it around just like so and that's kind of how i want this area right here just about like that now i can go in a painting i can find our grass and we can paint the grass in so now we've still got our road right here. We've still got a nice little area that we can drive up to and drive in. And after, what, about a day, this grass will grow. And it will look like it's supposed to have been here this whole time. And that is one thing I love about this game. You can do so much cool stuff. Now, of course, we don't have the grass down the center anymore. And to be honest with you, I think I'm going to chop that anyway. There we go. It did look cool, but because we didn't have it there the whole time or the whole way down, I think it's fine just to go ahead and cut that. So there you go, there is that. We are good here. I'm gonna keep, just keep going straight here and then choop, 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 get this little area right here on our right and then jump in with the horse and the case and finish this field up and finish getting all of this in. But once we get that done, it is manure time. First things first, before we do anything, we are going to put down a shed right here. I already know exactly which one I want. We just gotta go get it. This guy right here, machine shed without doors. Boom, boom. I think this is the right way. It's definitely this way. I'm gonna take this about right there, make sure that everything is good here. And we're gonna back it up quite a bit. We're gonna back it up as close to the road as we can without getting into the red and without completely demolishing this uh, fence right there. I think that's a good spot. It's a pretty straight down. I think that'll do. So let's hit that pow right there. It did raise the ground a little bit around it. Not crazy happy about that, but it is what it is nonetheless. Now let's get rid of some of the stuff right here. All this grass work, if you will. Let's find the gravel that was used. This is it. Boom, 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 boom. Done, done, and done. Perfect. Now, we can get in our semi, 
and we've got a place to put our trailers. Now, there are three bays here, so I'm thinking, well, three bays, that should be perfect for two trailers and the truck. I like it. I like it a whole lot. If I could just quit from crashing into stuff, that would be uh, most helpful. No, I don't want to put it there. This trailer, I tell you what. One thing is we're not using this trailer to move stuff. This will only move like 40-some thousand liters at a time. Wow, I stink today. This will only move like 40-some thousand liters at a time. Well, as you know, the gravity wagons, gravity bins, you can't use those. Like this guy right here, the Wilson. I can't use this for manure. So what we're going to do is we are going to invest in a crampy. We're going to take one of the crampies and we're going to take it and use it to haul all of the manure. No trickery, nothing fancy, <laughs> nothing like yesterday. No, that was that was interesting. What we're going to do is we're going to use the base game in game one and we're going to make a few trips with it. I think we've got right over 60,000 liters in manure for both. There's that. Perfect. And so we need to get that. We need to get a wheel loader. And we need to get a bucket. We are going to use the universal bucket, which will hold 7,200 liters, 7,900 liters, somewhere around there. We're going to pick up all of that, and that's going to be what is helping us get all of this manure. So let's go here. Let's turn in. And let's get this stuff. First up, the trailer. Boom, tools, trailers, and right there, the crampy. Boom, I do want to go with Michelin's and wide tires. Just, you know, we're in America. Why not? We're going to lease it. We're not going to buy it. Pow, right there. And now we need this. Telehandlers, universal bucket. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the design color and just make that black as well. So you know what? Let's make that white just to stand out a bit. Yeah, I like that. And then wheel loader. Yes, please. Lease that. We're not going to buy it. Just lease it. We used to own one of these, but we sold our wheel loader. Now, this is where it gets tricky because what do you use? We're going to use the JCB. I know that the JCB is a little bit more expensive. I prefer to use this one. And I do like the big old duels in the front. Unfortunately, we're not going to use those today. So... All in all, all those lease costs did not cost us very much. And this is going to be extremely beneficial all around for getting this done. So, let's hook up, let's head up to the farm, and let's make this happen. The reason that I'm using a wheel loader and not a telehandler, which would have been a little bit cheaper, is the wheel loader will really, really make easy work of this. And we can get pretty darn high with it without extending without any problems, without any issues at all. And it seems like with a telehandler, when you've got a full thing of manure, it gets a little heavy. And when you've got some heavy stuff going on, it, uh, well, it's just bad. It's just bad. It, you run into some issues and it's no good. No good at all. So what we've got to do is we've got to fill this truck up. We've got to take this down load it at the BGA, which we still have yet to buy, and, oh yeah, we got to do this and the pigs. The pigs actually have a lot more manure than this. Not too much. I think there's, uh, last I checked, the differences was like a couple thousand, something like that. Regardless, we've got about 60,000 here. We've got about 62,000 liters at the pigs, so that's going to be a little over two full loads for us. So, Let's finish this one up. Let's at least get down there and do the first load. And then I think it'll be about that time. No, I'm looking at the clock right now. No, we can't do it. We got work to do, baby. We got work to do. First load is up. And the great thing is we've got a whole lot more than the thing said we did. It said we had was a 60,000 some. We've got at least 15 to 20,000 more liters left. So I'm so excited to see what we've got coming from the cows as well as the pigs. The pigs say they've only got 62 or 63. We may get close to two and a half loads. That's going to be phenomenal. Let's buy this real quick. I know I keep buying and selling the biogas plant, but we don't use it that often. This is only going to hold... 50,000 liters. Fortunately for us, this is 59,000 liters. So let's just jump in and let's take that time and kick that to 120. Let's see if we can... And we're not going to be able to keep up with it. Can we update it? There we go. 
So that's empty, and while that's getting its thing done, everything is good there. Let's jump back into real time. We're going to head back, finish filling this guy up from the cows, and then we're going to come back, get another cell, go get everything from the pigs. Hopefully we get a good couple cells in. Guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not even, please subscribe. If you got any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. Be happy to help you guys out. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.